Great Britain. Renowned for its diverse range of ecosystems and the diverse range of animals that inhabit them, the environment and ever-changing weather system of Britain means that all manner of species can thrive here. Coastal species, reptiles, mammals, and insects, all thriving. In particular, Britain has a deep history of harbouring different species of birds. With an abundance of its own native species, summer migrants and of course overwinterers, these winged wonders come in all shapes and sizes. A miraculous array of colours and they all live in a manner of environments. Some of the most impressive birds that you can find in Britain sit at the very top of their food chain. They patrol the British skies in search of something to hunt, using a myriad of specialised predatory adaptations. These are birds of prey. From forests and woodlands to open moors, and even British coastlines. The UK's diverse landscape provides an array of habitats for birds of prey. However, birds of prey are rapidly having to adapt to loss of natural land and habitat fragmentation, and then further adjust to living amongst humans. One bird that has adapted well to the change in its environment is the kestrel. Hunting from trees or perches, kestrels can spot their prey, voles, mice, insects, and even small birds. They can even spot a beetle from as far away as 50 metres. Once the prey has been spotted, the kestrel flies directly into the wind. It then uses its powerful wings and tail against the wind to hover while keeping its head completely still and eyes focused perfectly on its prey. This process is repeated with the kestrel looking for any sudden movement in the area. Once the kestrel has found its target, it dives down, pouncing on the prey with its sharp talons. They have even adapted to use the urban landscapes and agricultural farmland to hunt in. These agricultural lands are often laden with telegraph lines. These make ideal perches for the kestrels to spot prey in the crisscross maze environment. Its prey could be hidden anywhere in the network of grasslands, agricultural mud and crops. Kestrels have found the use of agriculture to be of their advantage. The use of these new modernised urban perches mixed with the kestrels' aerial prowess allows them to lock onto their target with laser-like precision, making them formidable hunters in the open fields. Another bird of prey that hunts in open farmland soars through the sky using its keen binocular vision to zoom in on prey. This particular bird of prey rides thermals in the sky, allowing it to gain elevation and then soar effortlessly, meaning that it can glide for long distances using very little energy. It is looking for its next meal. But this bird isn't looking for things moving. It wants an easier meal. This bird is the red kite, and it is a master scavenger. Upon finding an animal carcass, the kite uses its sharp hooked beak to tear through flesh easily. The talons then hold the prey in place so that it can peel away flesh from its meal. As a relatively weak bird of prey, the kite prefers roadkill and easier meals such as mice, pigeons, and pheasant. This pheasant may look like an easy meal, however for today, he is safe on the ground as kites prefer to attack from the sky diving downward. As he eats, he watches his surroundings carefully and for good reason. There are always other scavengers around. A buzzard waits patiently in the tree. The kite has spotted something else that's given him the spook. The buzzard seizes the opportunity using his powerful legs to run across the ground. But something is wrong. This meal 
has already been claimed by another, a female buzzard. This male must now wait his turn. Buzzards tend to hunt small animals and carry on. Either soaring, diving or attacking from a perched position, buzzards have even been known to jump on the ground attracting earthworms and insects to consume. But today, this bird is taking the opportunity of an easy meal. Magpies also join in the feast as another scavenger, but again, on the ground they are safe. It is not uncommon to see birds of prey share food, with many birds consuming the same prey. However, some species feed exclusively on food that other birds just do not eat. Ospreys are a spectacular fish-eating bird of prey. Once widespread across Britain, but over the years, their hunting habits caused friction with humans and eventually led to their decline. However, campaigns such as the Rutland Osprey Project have been working tirelessly to change this. Populations in England and the United Kingdom in general grew, so did the need for food. And with that, uh, they looked to fishing over the next couple of hundred years there. Uh, they were being looked upon as a pest and they were persecuted as such. In, in Rutland specifically, there was a reintroduction and a translocation of juveniles that started in 1995 and that continued on until around 2005 with around 60 juveniles being brought to Rutland Wharfs to be released for fledging and produced the first osprey chick to have been born in England in over 150 years. It's extremely important to start to see them succeeding in this reintroduction scheme, not just because of their direct impact on the local environment, but also as a testament to the fact that we can reintroduce birds using these methods and these sorts of quite simple technologies. This charismatic species is the only purely piscivorous bird of prey, eating a diet exclusively of fish. Ospreys have a high density of receptors in the eyes, giving them much sharper vision. A bobbing of one's head from side to side produces relative motion between objects located at different differences. This helps the osprey to triangulate its prey. Once the osprey has taken aim, he dives. Nothing this time. But this won't stop the raptor, and he circles back around for another attempt. As he locks in on the fish, a nictitating membrane moves over the eyelid, allowing for protection and a small element of underwater vision. Extra plumage around the eye also helps to reduce glare from the water, especially on a sunny day. This time, he is successful. But it is a fight for such a fish, and he uses his extraordinary shoulder muscles and densely compacted shoulder bones in order to create lift. Once out of the water, his talons hold the prey firmly in place. Bringing the fish back to a habitual spot, the osprey can then eat. This process happens multiple times a day, especially in the hours of dusk and dawn, and will continue until they eventually migrate back to Africa. Birds of prey are enigmatic characters that have the ability to adapt to new environments, be that in a natural environment or an urban environment. Regardless of where these birds inhabit, they display amazing adaptations. And it is safe to say that birds of prey 
are some of the most spectacular animals that Britain has to offer.